Happy Friday, Orange Class. We're so glad to be together again. Wasn't that Zoom fun? We had a good time and we loved seeing everybody's smiling faces. We missed you, Paloma, and we missed you, Chloe. You can join us the next time. Um, thanks to everyone that made their cute little thanks note cards for our Giving Tuesday campaign. That was really cute, too. Today, we are wrapping up our study of Moses. I can't believe we've been talking about Moses for three weeks. But you remember? Remember my little baby in the basket? There's sweet, there's little Moses. But I'm going to go over the story of Moses' life real fast, just, just so we can remember it. Remember, Moses... Moses' mama had to put him in a basket because the mean Pharaoh told all the baby boys that they couldn't live. So Moses' mama put him in a basket in the river. And look, the princess found baby Moses and she picked him up and took him to the palace with her. Well, Moses grew and grew, and after he was big, Moses became a shepherd, and he went home to stay with his mom and dad. Well, one day when he was keeping his sheep, he walked by a bush, and the bush was burning. And guess who was in the bush? God was talking to Moses, and he said, Moses, I have a plan for you. I want you to rescue your people and go save them. So Moses had to obey and he went to the Pharaoh, which was the king. And he said, Ooh, I catch that. He said, let my people go. And the Pharaoh said, no, 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 no. So you know what God did? He sent some frogs and some flies to persuade the Pharaoh to let his people go. And you know what? He did. He let them go. And so Moses took his people and they had to walk through the sea. But you know what? God went before the people and they walked through dry land through the sea to get to the other side where they were going to the promised land. And they were very hungry, and the Lord provided manna. So they had something to eat. Well, once they got to where some of the places they need to be, Moses left them for a little while because God needed to talk to Moses again. And he told him the Ten Commandments. And the Ten Commandments are wonderful rules that God asked for us to do so we will have happy lives. And then after that, Moses' people got to go to the Promised Land. And that was the story of Moses' life. He was a very special man that listened to God, and God took care of Moses just like he's going to take care of you and me and Miss Mindy, who's behind the camera, and all of our mamas and daddies and brothers and sisters. God loves you so much. Next week, we're going to start on Abraham. So that's going to be a really good study. And we'll send you a packet next week with all of our Abraham stuff in it. But now we're just going to close with a fun book about number 10. Just like we talked about the 10 commandments. Here's a fun little book about number 10. One wobbly Gerald tries to find his feet. Two leaping lizards skipping on the beat. Actually, they're leopards. But three high-kicking hyenas springing through the air. Four rocking rhinos dancing with real flair. Five fine flamingos learning to flamenco. Six loving lions try to dance the tango. Look at those lions. Seven zippy zebras looking really smooth. Eight bold bam baboons getting on the groove. Nine cheerful chimps who waltz and jive and prance. <gasps> 
10 happy jungle friends who all just love to dance. That is so funny. 10 funny friends. You can get someone to help you count to 10 this week. Um, next week, we'll be hopefully back in the classroom making our fun videos and doing lots of crafts and activities for you. We love you very much and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.